Hi guys, it's me, Rich from Trackspark. Hope you're all well. Hope you had a great Christmas and New Year. Um, I had a good one. It's not actually New Year yet. It's 28th here for me. So um, I'm doing this in between Christmas and New Year. So bear with me if I start talking rubbish. Um, my head's not exactly screwed on at the moment. But um, yeah, Happy New Year to everybody. And let's get on with it. So we've not got long. So... Uh, today's a bit of a compositional tutorial um, and it's how to make uh, a track or a full track out of one idea and what I mean by that is um, a lot of electronic music in particular but a lot of pop music and uh, current music today they use one one uh, musical idea uh, or so one riff or one synth synth line or one uh, bass riff uh, bass hook <clears throat> or chord or even just one chord progression and then just repeat it repeat it just rinse rinse it through the entire track and sort of change just change a few elements here and there uh, and and that gives you your whole track and it's quite clever in the fact that you know as humans we like repetitiveness we don't like it you know we don't go ott but you know, if the more you repeat something, the more it gets in someone's head, the more they like it. Um, so, you know, it's quite clever in that fact. Whereas, whereas I'm from a, a sort of singer songwriter background, guitarist background, and you'd have a, an intro verse bridge chorus that all had different harmonic sort of, uh, they're different harmonically. So different chords, and melodically they were different um and then you would sort of piece them together whereas well pete well i'll show you how i piece this tune together but i'll show you the constant same riff one idea that links it all together um and then before you know it you've got you know a three or three minute track three or four minute track um so i shall play it really really quickly here's the sort of main drop Okay, so that's the tune, um, and you could sort of hear the main hook. You could hear the main vocal hook, but the main hook I'm talking about is on these these two uh, synths here. So the sub and this reactor. Uh, it's a monarch <clears throat> uh, on reactor six. So if we just go from the top. And then we can sort of still talk about it in terms of intro, verse, chorus uh, as well. And you can just see, you know, how mo or how little has changed between each section. So there you can hear the riff. Not a lot going on rhythmically, um, sort of beats-wise, I mean. And then we get into the, to the next section. So there you can hear, I mean, we've got, a, we have got an actual vocal going on. So that's a point of interest. But if we listen to the, without that, listen to the track without that. It's the same riff going on. I've just added this one to give it a bit of interest. Just a bit more rhythm as well. So we move on to the next section. It's the same riff. Just added a beat. And then and then sort of in terms of interest, we've got a derivative of this first vocal. Just chopped up, and you guys have probably seen in in previous tutorials that I like to sort of to chop up and texture vocals, and it just gives a, a point of interest. Again, a bit more repetitiveness in the vocal, um, but it's the same the same musical idea i'm just changing a texture um and then we move on to to the to the the bridge i'd say you call it the bridge um call it build before the main drop it's the same yeah same idea just 
just added some sort of housey synths here that pulse create tension for this build. Uh, the, the beats have dropped down, so texturally, you know, added some tension and dropped down the beats. Um, and then our point of interest again is is this new. <laughs> It's similar, but it's a, a you know it's a, a slight change, but that's it. So it might sound a big difference. So here we, here's the, the intro, here's the pre verse if you want to call it that. sound like a lot has changed but really not a lot has changed a bit of couple of beats and a bit of chopping up of a vocal into the bridge Let's be builds up and we do have a slightly new idea here a bit more slightly different chopped up vocal Again, apart from that sort of main hook riff. Very, very similar. Not a lot has changed. I've taken out the main synth and made the sub notes longer. It's still the same four notes. It's the same idea, but I've just made them longer and it just makes it sound bigger and fatter. And I've taken out those sort of that synth because it'll you know to give room for this for this main uh, vocal idea here we've added a bit more rhythm in the beats we've got a trippy snare here working in between the kick drum kick drums a little busier so you know it's the main drop we want we want a bit more rhythm we want it sounding a bit bigger um but, you know, again, musically, harmonically, there's not a lot different at all. You know, once you take out that main, that this main hook. So you could say it's all about interest. But again, there's only a couple of ideas there anyway. We've got our main vocal chopped up and then this main sort of hook in the chorus. And then we go back after that into this section. Which again is a, a bit like this sort of verse section, a de, it's a, you know derivative of that. Um, still the same riff going on. Same riff going on again. Same riff going on again. Textually. It's just the rhythm that's sort of changing a bit there. Uh, the beats, sorry. I'll say the rhythm. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this, guys. I've not got long. I've only got so long to do this. So I've only got about 60 seconds left. So um, apologies if it does seem a little rushed. But you can sort of see, you can see my point where, you know, it's one riff. And all I'm doing is changing a couple of layers through each set of, say, 8 or 12 bars. Um, and then here we've got a little sort of gap where it completely stops and then the beats kick in but it's it's the same piece of music it's the same riff with a couple of altered points of interest on top and before you know it you know you've got like i say three or four minute three or four minute track if you want it to be that this is this isn't finished it's only about two and a half minutes at the moment um but by the time i've added another main another drop section on and, and a breakdown it, it's going to be there um, with a few tweaks in between. So I hope that was sort of useful um, and you can see, you know, how structurally things are different and the same at the same time and how, you know, that repetitiveness, that repetitiveness, um, you know, helps us create cool songs. So uh, have a good one. Have a, yeah, hope you have a great New Year's and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, guys.